it is a dream. I have, I have seen it. <laughs> now I need to not dreaming. I have to do it. <laughs> it's like the last few hours, the calm before the storm, so to say. We are finally back. The Dakar Rally 2024. 14 days across Saudi Arabia. Through the sands of time, Audi Sport has carved a path of innovation at the Dakar Rally. Their relentless drive has brought the electrifying Audi RS Q e-tron to the forefront of endurance racing. The Dakar Rally begins now. After the experience of last year's Rally Dakar, we've done a lot of things to improve the team's performance. But I think also the setbacks and the experiences even put the team closer together now. Everybody's really, really engaged and focused. You need to put more effort in your preparation. And this year, after my incident, I have to recover. And you know, I decide really to try to arrive this, this year in, in good shape. This Dakar 24 will be probably the more hard Dakar since we are in Saudi Arabia. But also where we go, there is a lot of uh, part not really easy with the rocks, with a lot of dunes. Can be also very really interesting for the guys with a lot of experience or yeah, a little bit more like the spirit of the past. My motivation is as high as ever. I've been dreaming all my life about things, about what can I achieve when I was a child and looking in five, six years after. And luckily, a lot of the dreams has come through and I'm still dreaming and I can win this race today. When I want something, I fight for it and I've been lucky to, to achieve. The target is to run the rally within the top five all the time and then um, hope that the average over the days that uh, that will be an good enough to be fighting for the top position. I think it will just come down to who makes uh, most days clean. It's the moment everybody has worked for. This is the start for the Audi team. The feeling to drive the car is really good. Balance of the car, suspension, power, everything. I, I feel really the car uh, better than never. Now it's just uh, to stay away from those mistakes and just keep the car clean and tidy and do good navigation and stay in the flow and uh, uh, just enjoy the rally. You need to go day by day and you know, Today is finished, you think in tomorrow. When tomorrow is finished, you think after tomorrow. You cannot make very long term plans in this race. It's great to see how the processes are sharpened every day. And especially if there are tough schedules, all the team has to work together, driven by innovation and united by passions. They're taking huge chunks of time back here. Unfortunately, the stone area start and then we go to one puncher, then two, then, then three. Big surprise when you arrive to the end of the stage and you think you have lost 15 minutes at least and then you are seconds. A fantastic stage win for Stefan Petter. Hansel, this early in the competition, superb performance from the Dakar legend. Mr. Dakar now he has a record for 50 stage wins with the car. So uh, an all-time high up to now. And yeah, my heartfelt congrats to him. It's an impressive thing to see today. I'm not surprised. I know how good he is. I know 
how strong, that's why I respect him so much, that is why he's Messi Dakar. We know that a lot of things can happen again. At the end, this year, it's really probably the best start of the Dakar since the three years. The Audi has been always top of the technology in motorsport. So they have shown the others that their technology is better than what it has been used for years. If you come with the same machine than the other, same technology is nothing innovative. You know, you, are, you can win Dakar, but you are one more that win Dakar. But like this, you have the opportunity to make history with something different than nobody else did before. We want to set a milestone what electrification within a car can stand. The legacy that we, we will leave here on the rally ride doesn't matter the result will be forever. We are really happy for the overall uh, classification of the team. The train is now moving fast forward and uh, we will uh, just have to be fair and smart about it. We set a reasonable pace for the challenging stage into the empty quarter tomorrow. We are all focused on the first week because we are in and we want to play the game. We want to arrive in Riyadh in good position. It will push the, the crews in their limits. The 48 hour stage is 600 kilometers. Two days are combined and we don't have any service at all. And we are standing out in the empty quarter in a tent. And the tactics can be extreme and to stay focused, concentrate for two days like that, it will be the, the key of the success. <laughs> well, you know, the dream, uh, I have to wait a few days at the moment. So um, it is the start of the dream. <laughs>